Welcome back everyone. Let's play Rule the Waves as the United States, episode number 13. We're at war with France and it hasn't gone exactly according to plan the first uh, five months, I guess. Uh, we've had a, a few defeats, in fact. Uh, lost two ships, I believe. Both of them light cruisers. And then, okay, destroyers not, <laughs> notwithstanding. I guess we've lost a few destroyers as well. Just those two that went up against the huge convoy. I thought it was three. I thought we lost three. When was it? Was it these four I lost? It may, uh, maybe? Oh, interned. Okay, so we lost three then. Okay, that makes sense. So these were earlier then. No, in 10, that's probably the same. I mean, hell if I know. Um, we lost some destroyers in one of the battles. We lost uh, one light cruiser and then another one. Am I crazy? Do we only lose one light cruiser? Okay, I didn't want to do this, but let's do it. Yeah, we only lost one light cruiser. The other one is interned. Ah, okay, good. So we did lose three of those destroyers. Okay, that is, that makes sense. That's about what I remember. So, were we doing this or not? Jiminy Crickets, I don't know. No, apparently not, because the lightnings are not <laughs> getting it, so. We cannot show weakness. Please do not. Oh, what the hell is the Canberra doing here? What the hell, Canberra? That... That is not the east coast. Yeah, I mean, te I mean, technically it's east of the North American coast, but... <laughs> what? <laughs> what the heck is going on here? Canberra, North American East Coast. That is not... I mean, my geography knowledge might not be perfect, but I'm pretty sure that's not the... North American. If this ends up being a battle cruiser, I'm I'm gonna be a little bit annoyed. <laughs> For good reason, I'd say. The game itself has forgotten its own uh, geometry, I guess, geography. Wait, did I not hit this? There we go. Okay, unknown ship sighted. If it is a battle cruiser, we will do our best to escape. But I'm going to. Assume it's not and wind direction, so we will actually want to kind of head at yeah. Arm cruiser. To, oh, okay, there it is, Le Bossier class, and they will not be able to outrun us that easily. I say that, but yet they are outrunning us. Okay, well. It, time is advancing. We're just not moving. <laughs> Probably got to go to fast. Your eyes are not playing tricks on you. That is actually them trying to escape. I think we need to shift a little bit more. We're down to 21. This is where I think increased endurance might help, but no, I mean, I think they're edging away because of the 21 drop. You never get to see if the um, enemy ships are also suffering from like, you know, this slowdown. What are they, they're kind of being a little bit weird about their decisions here. What exactly are they doing? Okay, let's keep going. Maybe we'll get lucky. A boring fight anyway, right? Boring conversation anyway. So then we know that what they're gonna try to do. Let's just kind of guess that they go back with this kind of angle. Let's see what happens. No, I don't think we got it. <sighs> it would have been nice. It would have been nice to actually fight the battle which we had an advantage for. Now, I don't know what the hell anyone is doing 
in Northern Europe. Okay, these ships are fine. These are the ones I wanted to go there. Everyone's back on the East Coast. That's according to plan. How the hell did the Canberra get where she was? It is a mystery. Now, what would be nice to assuage the uh, un, you know, lack of good fortune in battles would be as if we can invade here. And we, well, my god, 57 to 1 point. I think we have the 4 to 1 advantage needed. And I think the only thing you need is a minimum of at least one heavy ship, like battleship, dreadnought, battle cruiser. So I think we satisfy all the requirements to invade in Southeast Asia. Seven battleships to zero. <laughs> Certainly seems that way to me. We are improving that base, and I don't think I really need to improve this one because we... How are we doing in those? Yeah, 100. We're not even... We're about just over halfway full, and we have a pretty substantial fleet there. Now, we'll have to monitor how these north... What? Like, okay, I hate cert sorting this way, but we're going to do it just to make sure that I'm not missing anybody in northern Europe. This is it. Because look at this 20 out of zero. It doesn't really make sense if you only have like 10 destroyers. I can't imagine how... Um, I can't imagine how that would add up. That's like, whoa, okay, how much, how big are these destroyers that I have there? Yeah, less than a thousand. So this is, okay, it's exactly 10. So this is 9,000 tons, and somehow that adds up to 20 points, which just doesn't make any sense compared to Southeast Asia. We have seven battleships at 16,000. I mean, it looks a little closer to one-to-one, -to -one, whereas this is, whoops, sorry, this, it's more like one to two. One ton equals two points here. Hmm. Okay, well, I mean, unfortunately, the French are not being blockaded anymore. And we do have a little bit of money to spend. Uh, what? What was our most recent design? Let's look at the most recent year show all designs. If we're sorting by year, it won't really matter, right? We have some retrofits. Probably most of these are going to be retrofits. It's going to be really nice when our battle cruisers actually finish up. And you know what? That's one thing we can do. We sort by type once more. We could just loft our Mount Rainiers, which are still probably the best ships in the world, before even the Lightnings came around. Oh, no, I mean the Philippines are. But the Mount Rainier is still a formidable foe. We could just throw her into the mix. I think we can send these raiding in the Caribbean. So let's put two of them on raiding and send them over to the Caribbean, where they can still get to North America anyway. I mean, sorry, yes, they can get to North America, but what I meant to say is they can get to Northern Europe. So, and we could also take our elite ships the grand rapids even i wouldn't mind well okay we need a ship that's fast enough to escape so probably the galveston we don't have that many of them either maybe we send some wait i thought we had i'm missing something here i thought we had three light cruiser classes am i insane the great lakes are all being built. Okay, that's the one I really want, and it's not out yet. Okay, <laughs> thank you for refreshing my memory. Well, between these two, I think the Galveston is, no, nope, probably the Grand Rapids is better. Let's send, <laughs> since we have the Galvestons there, let's send the Grand Rapids raiding over to Northern Europe, and we'll switch them back. No. Okay, we have somebody, somebody's finished working up. Was it the Lightning herself? I don't know. I don't understand. It, it, it's such a close war right now. What would you, what would you consider giving up? Oh, this is good. So Northern Europe is supposed to be the heaviest traffic zone for convoys. And was, we paid some dividends there. 
In fact, we really got to get back there, don't we? Now, coastal raid with this ships, these kind of ships? No. Uh, well, we have to fight this one. As long as it isn't a battle cruiser or oh, it's just it's early morning, so it's not like weather is going to help us get away. Maybe we can get lucky. Eight inch guns. We might even be able to take on an armored cruiser, but let's just stick to the wind. Advantage. Okay, that's not a good sign. Hmm. We can probably lose them over here. This is easier to run to, and we'll be giving up the wind advantage, though. Let's go. Out. Let's go this way. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult. In fact, we could, this is probably the closest thing. Now we are closer to this, but let's make a run for this anyway. The channel. Make a run for the channel. Uh, Pascal class, what are you? Ah, there's something we can actually fight. And honestly, if we lose this, <laughs> they have the same amount of six-inch guns as we have eight-inch guns. Start off with a hit, that's good. I would like to close as well. Another ship. Well, that's not good. That might be a battle cruiser. Let's find out. That's probably a battle cruiser. I'm going to do it. I'm going to have to pull off. I don't think we sank this one, but but when she turns away, we'll go back in. Is this wise? It's a light cruiser. Okay, that means the worst case scenario, it should be an armored cruiser. We're going to fight. Okay, it's, it's, this is, it's fighting time, Pioli. Okay, let's launch a torpedo to finish her off. Delay firing anything else for a little while. Okay, just fire one. Cover your ears. I don't know how loud this will be. Pretty stinking loud. <laughs> okay, and now we're holding our fire because we're going to focus on the other ship after we hit that one. I will direct fire at the Lavoisier. We will go so far as to manually target the Lavoisier. But we're going to wait a little while, like I said, just 10 minutes. Should have a passed by now. And now we can start firing again. I think that that's it. Yeah. Fire as at will. Your miss. A hit. A couple hits. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. This this ship class is... <laughs> these 8-inch guns... What I think we're seeing here is the effect of uh, accuracy due to being with, further within our maximum range. One of the mechanics, and I don't know, I obviously don't know the exact code for it, but one of the code, uh, one of the things for accuracy is how far your range is. So our eight-inch guns are just obviously much longer range than six-inch guns, which means that if we're fighting at the same at whatever distance, their six-inch guns should just be simply less accurate. And that may be what we're seeing here. So I may never build, I don't think I'll ever build a legacy non eight inch cruiser again. This thing has just, it's gonna even the, the fight. And there's a torpedo launch, good decision. We hit it, amazing. Completely intact, two light cruisers out for the count. Doesn't seem like that many points. I they seem to recall we lost ten thousand. What in God's name? That's weird. Seven hundred thirty for sinking two. My tonnage isn't that much higher. Let's see, sixty two hundred. Did we lose? We lost a seventy two hundred one, right? Seventy two hundred. Those were what? Like 5,000 ton? Uh, I don't think the math is adding up. Two of those should, should, I think, in theory, be more points. Let's figure this out. Just Bossier is 3,900 tons. Okay. 
that makes sense and pascal was 5300 tons so still doesn't add up to less than 7000 tons it's what about about 9000 hmm. don't know why it's worth less points i mean sinking two ships is just good any light cruiser should be worth I just think that sinking two light cruisers should always be worth more points than sinking one. Almost from like, if you just think about it from like a, a publicity standpoint, people really don't know how, know how to factor in, you know, you say you lost a light cruiser and people are just going to assume all light cruisers are, you know, all of them are equal. But let's, let's not worry too much about it. We can make up the difference in our own way then. Oh, maybe it's partly because we're in captain's mode. That's minus 20%, lest I forget. Okay. Now, ooh, decline. Yes, absolutely. Please be battlecruiser, please be battlecruiser. It's a bat, no. I saw these escorts and I got really excited. We got the General Custer, but it's in the good battle cruiser. I mean, in the light cruisers, the two good light cruisers we have. We have these are the Benny class. So this is our gunboat. How? What the hell are they doing there? I thought I sent all of them. Is North America and is the East Coast and Northern Europe like connected by some bug? I'm pretty sure these bennies are not in this area. They should be all in Northern Europe, right? Am I crazy? Maybe I'm just not remembering correctly. I can probably find out. No, I can't see their look. I can't see their location. Okay. All right. Well, let's just see what's here. I'm going to be happy with this one, I think. And the French have no fleets. Uh, it's going to be nighttime really soon. So what we're going to do is get everyone to go squad max right at these guys, whatever, whoever they are. Support, line ahead, squad max. Okay, let's find out what we're dealing with here. Probably an armored cruiser makes sense. I would like to lure them back without losing contact. just go this way okay can you guys wait pause no I have to remember that sometimes it doesn't respond as quickly as you hope okay we have oh beautiful this is what I'm looking at 20 knots 9 inch guns so she's gonna put up a bit you know a good fight we have 10 inch guns if I have to remind you Seven inch guns is whew, don't get don't get caught with those. Even our even though we have eight inch guns, <laughs> we don't we don't have that many of them. Now what I think we should do is swing back this way to kind of give our armored cruisers uh, a bit of breathing room. Now what am I doing? Get sight radius on. This is actually really important, so they cannot see my armored cruisers yet. Not that the game doesn't know about them, but maybe somehow they don't. What I want to do is lure them in. I can use definitely my destroyers as shepherds. Shepherd them to the, the side I want. So at this point, they can see me. No. Oh, wow. Nice, Puerto Rico. Hitting with the 8-inch guns. It's quite nice. Um, let's go ahead and just start laying into them. We need to land hits. Our ships are not likely, very, like, extremely, I would say, not likely to actually be destroyed. We can probably pull back with anybody, so let's just do some damage, slow them down, make them even better targets for our incoming armored cruisers. And again, we want to shepherd them to, well, let's not lose our destroyers. Those can definitely be lost. <laughs> Oh wow, the poor the poor berry. I don't think the berry's gonna make it. I think we'll detach her, send her home. She, yeah, there's a chance that she makes it. Yeah, zero flooding actually, so she's 
probably going to make it. Um, I guess we could deploy smoke. There's not that many ships. The reason why I wouldn't is because, you know, then we have this... Wait. Oh, that's the berry. Wait, the Benny's the one that's... No flooding. No flooding. Okay, let's just send all these destroyers home. Or just get them to head north, I guess. At cruise speed, I think I'll do. Just to get them out of the way. And we are landing some hit. These light cruisers are actually the ones doing most of the damage. And the destroyers are the ones absorbing most of the damage. So let's pull these guys back directly at the armored cruisers, which is going to impair my armored cruiser ability to shoot for a little bit. But our light cruisers are doing damage, so we, we're pretty happy about that already. Now, what's the speed of this? 15 knots, I believe it. And we are still at 16 knots. That's That explains it. Okay, so you guys go down to cruise and cruise and deactivate your smoke and you're fine. So we'll just have them push south with the armored cruisers. Okay, pass your through shot, that's always nice. Doesn't really do that much damage. I wanted to pepper this armored cruiser a little bit more, but it doesn't look like we're gonna get that chance. And this is where we're gonna need who is the, I said, you're like just way too damaged in my opinion. Your flotation's terrible. We really are gonna send you home, Benny. You are headed towards the nearest port, which is basically off map. <laughs> For all intents and purposes, you're not gonna make it home uh, before the end of this. So we'll just send you that way and we'll have you go slow and good luck to you. But the berry, that's, that's, we're gonna, you know, you guys are gonna, could I even detach the berry? I, the reason why I wanna do that is because she's gonna slow everything down. So let's just go in hard. We need to stay close to even spot them at this point. And we did land. Uh, our armored cruisers are landing hits now. That's great. And actually, we just want to focus on closing. We don't really care about the broadsides at this point. Right now, it's positioning game, and then we'll get start lobbing broadsides as soon as we can. Okay, so they returned fire and did hit with their nine inch guns but each of our armored cruisers landed a shell a 10 inch shell so this is good they do have pretty heavy armor five inch belt what do we have four and a half? Oh, five and a half so we have yeah two inch deck as well what well, th these are great armored cruisers i didn't realize that so we we actually out armor them i i did not expect that i'm happy to see it Okay, so we have to watch a little bit. That's a lot of Wichita hits. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it's a lot of Wichita hits. <laughs> Suddenly we are not so good at hitting them. Let's get our light cruisers to slowly close the gap. Oh god, the Benny reattached. What a pain in the butt. Get out of here, Benny. Get out of here. Okay, that should stop that. And we're hitting with our six inch guns. It's gonna be very night soon, it now is. Visibility's really poor. <sighs> okay, you know what we gotta do is this. We'll get one of our ships to go pretty quick. Now, we have enough ships, we just, if they don't U-turn, which would be a pretty bold move, we should have them. They're gonna reroute, but wherever they reroute, we should catch them. That is a very narrow window. If they do that, I mean, I'll just, you know, bravo. And we'll look, we can look and see what course the ships took. But I think that they won't do that. There it is. Okay, good. So, close immediately. The ship is probably heading this way, so yeah, it is. So prepare for uh, torpedoes. In fact, we might just want to run dead on.
pass them and come back. I think we will because we'll launch torpedoes this way. Okay, perfect. Now we can go, oh, okay. Oh, the Wichita is getting pummeled. We are hitting still. I mean, maybe I pull off this way. That's also acceptable. And uh, now we're hitting, okay, good. So we hit three times with our 10 inch guns, two 10 inch guns, always surprising when you hit more than more times than you have guns. This has got to be the end though. As long as we don't hit a torpedo, that's the, I mean, as long as they don't hit us with a torpedo, we're not going to go looking for torpedoes. The Bainbridge is now in position, is she, to launch torpedoes? Out of arc. Okay, that's, that's actually understandable. Okay, now give it to them. Certainly in range. That is loud. Please tell me I did not just close the game. I, that was scary. Okay, good. So we're launching torpedoes. Let's pursue once again. What, we launched one? What, are you kidding me? Launch more. So let's do it this way. Please attack. Fire again. That's right, these bennies have almost no torpedoes, I forgot. Yeah, those will all miss. But we are steering them back towards our light cruisers. And actually, ooh, those almost didn't miss. Okay, let's get it back into the game here. Yes, detach. Perfect. The Bay Bridge only has one more torpedo anyway, but. Still hitting the unidentified ships. Very rare do your ships very rarely do your ships even fire at unidentified targets, but we're getting lucky here. Or <laughs> who knows, maybe that's why the computer's always firing at me. Maybe they are allowed. So that's yeah. <laughs> what we expected is that they would want to turn around as soon as they saw they're once again being tracked. And you know they'll swivel back, but it shouldn't do much. That's when the berry can launch a broadside of torpedoes, and our armored cruisers are right there as well. So let's get the Barry to go in. We're launching torpedoes. We're doing lots of damage. Let's fire torpedoes with the Barry and then just get out because we don't, we really don't want to risk losing a ship. We've done so well already. Yeah, we got this one to go. You can slow down even, just head back to safety. Okay. You guys, oh, that's that's good. Barry lost launch two. That's great. That's what I want to see. She's doing her best to dodge him. Oh wow, I dodged that. Unk. There it is. So we're making up ground, even with our twenty percent penalty for captain's mode. I think that that'll be, that should be enough to take us into the lead. Let's find out if it is. And it is. <laughs> Only just barely. <laughs> okay, that's not a decisive battle. No, no, no. Come on, the United States Navy needs a much bigger victory to really call that memorable. Especially, we outnumbered them. You know, it was an unexpected result, I would say. So. I'm gonna take these guys off rating. They're not doing anything anyway. And maybe it's prolonging their time to refit to remove the star. Um, you guys in Northern Europe, you can move back. Why don't we move you to the Caribbean? Yeah, sure. And let's see what happens with the rest of them. Looking good. We have a few destroyers here. I might, I might move back. Yeah, okay, let's see. Where, where, these are, they're in the Caribbean. Okay. I didn't move all of them into, so I basically wasn't suicidal. It's fine by me. Move you back to the Caribbean. And come on, invasion. Come on, invasion. Okay, good design. I don't like that rear one, actually, but three one one, that's, that's strange. It's not terrible, but the turrets are not good because these ships have a lot of turrets, five. So, 
Superimposed gun, guns on destroyers. Probably we won't be taking advantage of that. And I think it's time, by the way, to move. Oh. Yes. Oh, yes. The game, it's going to make me really happy. Look at that. Now that is a ship. This will be the uh, the trial run for our lightning class battle cruisers. I got to tell you, I don't hold out much hope for any opponent that the Jarrett here is facing. So we'll see what that is in a moment. I'm very very excited. <laughs> All right, kick it up to 28. Wow, so nice. Run them down. A light cruiser? Oh, well, this might actually be able to get away. Nope. <laughs> We're reeling them in really quick. Pascal class, let's uh, just scout what this is. At 28 knots, technically, we match speed, so we just start lobbing shells from a distance. See if one of them connects. We have those super firing turrets, so... Let's actually go back to this. Oh, got a hit. Did you see how that one hit slowed her way down? Well, the 14 inch guns will do that to a light cruiser. And as soon as we can open up a broadside, it's, it's really going to go poorly here. Five guns, five guns still. Six gun. Oh, well, that's kind of weird. Now it should be. There it is. There's the broadside. All right. I, what I want to do is actually see our ship. Okay, so that is strange. Oh, okay, it's it's a bug. It's a bug in the display. We're actually firing with all guns now. And outside of torpedo range, just to be extra safe. And why not, right? <laughs> a little surprising we haven't hit him. Okay, there it is. Another hit. This thing is it's definitely a goner, though. <laughs> How are our ammunition stores? You know, we have a lot of ammunition. Let's not even worry about it. I don't mind going chase on with them. It's not worth, you know, getting too close and taking a torpedo. Okay, let's just wait. 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 It's getting late, though. We don't want to lose uh, the ship. Okay, not too late. I don't know when. It's 5 o'clock. I mean, seems late, but... Not late enough, I guess, for the sun to set. And we're really getting pretty close here. I did see a hit. How dare they? A superstructure belt. Okay, belt extended. Well, with all or nothing armor, we're not. There it is. Okay. There it is. I was going to ask the question how much damage did they really do? Zero. Oh, wow. So the answer is not much. And now that that 1045 that makes a little more sense to me. I think that's the same ship we sank with another ship though. What strange. So this has been this has been good. Let me check the time on a, our recording. Yep, 34 minutes. Just about time to wrap this one up. I'm not sure if we can get into a big extra fight. I think I'll just call it here. This has been a really good episode. We got some good battles in. We tested out our battle cruiser. So I'll just wrap it up and we'll just, you know, hopefully be able to launch right back into the next episode before the weekend ends so thanks for watching this is getting exciting i i mean i like winning i like winning more than i like losing go figure so, and uh, we have the tools to win what what we probably ought to do next is just dive right back into northern europe blockade them we did have those i mean if we could get the french to fold that would be great i will i'm gonna think about why we're not invading here yeah it's i mean every time i check we have i mean almost 10 to 1 advantage and it's been more than 10 to 1 they they only had one point here so i'm not i'm a little surprised at southeast asia this is the only thing i can i can think might be going on maybe battleships as soon as battle i mean dreadnoughts and battle cruisers no, this isn't the case, because I saved battleships and they do invade. I was trying to think, well, maybe the Dreadnoughts 
Maybe you need Dreadnoughts to invade after a certain time. I don't know, though. Really can't say what's going on there. Uh, yeah, okay, but anyways, we'll wrap it up. And we'll push some ships into the Northern Europe area next next episode. Hopefully we get a fleet battle. I can't control whether the, the gods that be, the RNG Jesus, actually gives that to us, but, you know, we'll be all fast for a day or something. Yeah. Or, or maybe I'll go play XCOM and get um, annihilated by low percentages or something really frustrating just to try to appease them and then, then they'll give me what I want. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, until the next episode, thanks for watching and take care.